I've decided to do a, a vlog um, as a volunteer on the Diabetes UK camp. Uh, we're currently in Weymouth and we're here for the week so the kids are going to be arriving uh, later on this afternoon so in the meantime we're getting all our leaders ready. The scene is really lovely as well. It's so bright. I need to put some sun factor on now. I'm not allowed to take videos of any kids because of confidentiality um, so you'll only see me basically okay <laughs> so we had to venture out because we didn't have enough Wi-Fi in the Osmington Bay area so we went to town and I'm actually looking oh wait oh my, on the beach and it's really happening here so it's actually we're having quite a nice time um, before the kids get here, so I think it's, it's great. It's really beautiful here in Weymouth. So we're, we're in the town centre of Weymouth, basically getting Wi-Fi in a local restaurant uh, to download all the records for the notes. Anyways. Okay, so today is day two of the Osmington Bay Diabetes UK care event. Um, I haven't been able to vlog partly because we've been so busy since the kids have arrived on site. We did quite a lot of activities, well, we've done a lot of activities today. Um, we did mountain biking, we did the ladder, orienteering and problem solving. Now today was such a different day compared to yesterday, just pouring with rain, showers, so we got completely drenched, so my clothes got soaked through. My raincoat is soaked, my bag got soaked, all the recording um, diaries that I was keeping has got wet as well. <laughs> so I had the privilege of doing the night duty yesterday and that was an experience because everybody was having hypos through the night so we were rechecking, um, carb loading them. It's um, a shame that I couldn't record the activities, um, partly because it was so soaking wet, but then we can't have our phones out um, during the activities because the kids aren't allowed their phones. And there's that safety issue as well, so um, and I can't record them again because of confidentiality reasons. Um, but it was, it was an enjoyable day. Um, I'm completely tired because I didn't sleep until after 5 a.m. Um, so I am pretty shattered, so I am gonna go sleep straight to bed have a good night's sleep and start again the day tomorrow at 7 a.m and looking forward to the rest of the week and uh, let's see what else this week can offer this is day four of the diabetes uk event and we've had such a good day today it was a much better day partly because the weather was shining um yesterday it was really hard to vlog after yesterday we had such a weird day yesterday so after lunch we did arable actually that is my next my newfound um sport event so we basically arable was we were jumping up and down on a trampoline and trying to basically it was basketball on a trampoline and trying to hit the ball across the opponent's um, net which I did pretty well and my team won so me and the other volunteer we named ourselves the winners and we were the winners so I, I was just gloating that I've never won anything like this before so I, I was really happy um, then we did a, another thing called Survivor now that was really interesting basically how to survive wherever you are so the instructor was telling us about what you need to survive, which is water, fire, food, and those are your main com components of basically surviving in in any kind of situation, and of course shelter. Um, so the kids had to basically make a tent out of all the resources they had around them. That was that was really good. Now today, well today we did zip wire. Uh, which was basically swinging from one end to the other. That was really good. Um, then we did um, archery. That was really good. I had a go as well. Um, again, another sport that I like. After lunch, we did raft building and we had to go off site for that. So we went on a coach. Now, I was feeling a bit travel sick after lunch and going on a coach isn't my favourite part of the event. But um, 
we, we got there and it was by the sea. The kids basically were building a raft and then they got into the sea and the instructor made it really fun and did little games in the water. Most of the kids got wet and no, it was, it was really good fun. Today is day five, my day five now. Thursday the 4th of August. Yeah, so it's day five. Um, as you can see, it's a bright sunny day and I'm just going to turn it around and the view is still beautiful. And these are our dorms that we're in at the minute. Um, so I'm doing a really sneaky um, So we've just come back from Boating. Um, but it looked like a lot of fun for the kids that were on there. The instructors made it fun. I did my night round last night, so I was, I was way too tired to vlog at the end of that. Um, but actually, it went a lot more smoother. We did the rounds of everyone getting their bloods checked. <laughs> Had a few hypos, but um, sort them as, as we do. I did get a bit of travel sickness just coming back from the coach, but um, I'm alright now. A bit, a bit of diet coke. <laughs> Hopefully we'll vlog at the end of the day if I can. We've got abseiling and street surf, I think that's what it is. Um, I don't know what it is really, but I'll find out. We've had fevers already because of homesickness, so that's unfortunate my group is sort of disappearing, but we can recruit the, you know, what we have left. Okay, see you soon, bye. It's day six today and oh, I'm actually really enjoying myself here. Yesterday after I vlogged, we did street surfing and abseiling, I think it was. That was good fun, um, but my hands got really hurt on abseiling, but something I might try again if I can. Then we did a game in the evening after dinner called Capture the Flag. Man, we did a lot of running around and that was good fun as well. Well, today's our last full day in, in here. Um, so everyone got disco tonight. I didn't tell you about today. What did we do today? We went for a hike just now, which was which was really good. We stopped over for an ice cream, um, paid by Diabetes UK. Look, we're wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> and in the morning, fencing and giant swing. So um, fencing I didn't take part in. Um, but it looked like good fun. Giant swing, I went on twice and I was feeling really sick. So um, yeah, that I had to put my head down and you know, stop feeling so dizzy. But um, we went to, right to the top, I went with one of the kids and they wanted to go to the top. So um, yeah, I don't think I'd do it that high again, but no, it was good, it was good fun. Um, so we've got disco tonight and a lot of the kids are feeling excited and it's also sad times because it's, it's you know the end of the week now the hike was beautiful because there's lots of scenic places and the instructor was telling us all these stories along the way about the stories of Osmington I've definitely got darker over the week because the weather's been so nice also I was thinking to myself why am I doing this vlog um, I've never done one and I think I've seen a few other people do something like this so I thought let me I don't know who, who my audience is, um, why am I doing it? I just thought I'll do something just to vlog the week. Um, so I'm a, a nurse, a diabetes nurse, so I'm here as a nurse role on the Diabetes UK event. Um, I myself, I am type 1 diabetic as well and I'm a volunteer. So I thought I'll share the experiences of what it is like being in a nurse role and a volunteer and also being some, a person with diabetes. It has been challenging as well because I've got to manage my own diabetes as well as the other kids because I've been trying to put in different basal rates, reduce my ratios, um, carb load. Um, and I think it was useful for the kids to know that as well because they were seeing me do it. Basically, they saw everybody else doing it. Um, one of the kids said a joke, it was so funny. The kid said, oh, why can't I stand in the front of the line? I've got diabetes. The other 30 children have diabetes too, so um, no, that was that was a funny one. There were so many jokes that were cracked this week about diabetes, and it was it was a good laugh. So um, I had a really good time meeting a whole new bunch of kids with a lot of sense of humour. 
and staff and volunteers of Diabetes UK as well. Really compassionate and caring and I would recommend doing one of these events as, as a volunteer. If I was younger I probably would like to go on, on an event like this. Well, we've only got tomorrow and then they're all going so, well, let's, well, hooray! <laughs> We're still on day six and we've done the disco. It was a really good night, everyone was dancing. Well, most people were dancing. It was quite funny having a, a disco <laughs> with all these kids. We've come to the end of the week. Really, really tired. Um, we've got an early start tomorrow. We have to beat out of our rooms at 7.15 to put all our bags in another room because um, we have to clear out the rooms before the next group gets here. So. It's it's an early start, so it's 11 o'clock now, and it's time to go to bed. We've got beach walk and some climbing activity tomorrow, and then the parents are all coming to pick up their kids after lunch. I'm absolutely shattered, so I'm going to go to bed. Today is the last day. Boo -hoo. <laughs> and I have got Adette, who works with Diabetes UK, and I will be having her on my video now. Um, so. Adele. Hi there. <laughs> what was your highlight of the week? Um, my highlight of the week was uh, meeting all the excellent volunteers, Phoebe, <laughs> who have diabetes, um, and also um, getting the one particular child to inject in places he never thought he could could do before. So that was that was excellent. So that's for now. So we're on our, well this is our last hour of yeah. the Diabetes UK event and I've got yeah. Karina and Kat with me and what's your highlights been of the week? Mine has definitely been getting to know my group of kids and seeing them um, throughout the week as they've come out of their shell and got more confident with doing things themselves, seeing the friendships they've made and conquering fears. Um, and they've just been wonderful. Um, and mine would have to be really similar actually. So we had a few kind of nervous people in our group and it was really great to see them kind of try some of the new things and actually kind of challenge themselves. That was really great to see. Um, and also actually I think to see how responsible a lot of them were with their diabetes. They were really cooperative and that was actually made things so much easier and really proud of them all. So yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I thought I'll vlog one more time being the last one. Now I'm on my drive home. I'm so tired. So I got myself a Costa. <laughs> it's been such an amazing week and I would recommend anyone to volunteer, especially um, healthcare professionals as we only had three on this. Apparently I uh, heard from the other volunteers that they have more medical um, people that are on this trip. My highlight was meeting new people, new kids um, and just doing diabetes. Um, and actually you don't think of them as kids with diabetes, actually as, well, they're normal kids that just have to do extra things like everybody else. I, I really had a good time. Now, my own diabetes, it was up and down like the kids were. You had you had to, you know, alter things. My Another colleague that was on the trip as well, um, we, we both discovered that we were having hypos during the night, as were some of the kids. We've learned, obviously, that we should have put temporary basils on or reduced our ratios before we went to bed. But I can't wait to get home and just sleep now. No more early wake-ups, um, rushing to eat your food to go to the activities. It was such a blast, actually. I can't wait to put this all these videos together and, you know, reflect, look at back all the pictures that I've taken. It was really scenic. Ah, oh, it was... I mean, we started off with torrential rain on Monday and then the rest of the week has just been the highlight of just sunny, warm. It was like being on holiday. I've definitely got a tan, just walking, hiking on in the sun. I feel a little burnt actually, so I should have put a little bit more sun cream on during, during the events. Uh, this morning we did um, a beach walk, so it's quite pebbly it was on the beach. <laughs> Um, and then we did a climb. I got to climb the wall. I didn't get quite high. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's age that's um, making me <laughs> not do um, go so high or get feel so sick after certain events like the giant swing. I don't think I'm going to do that ever again. But the kids, they, they tried new things um, and it was really fun just watching and being part of part of this whole experience. I definitely do recommend 
anyone. All you have to do is just um, apply, then you have to get a check done, get some references, and then you're on. I mean, if everything goes well. <laughs> I really enjoyed myself and I hope you enjoyed watching all the videos as well. So that's me and I'm definitely going to keep in touch with the volunteers that I did share numbers with. I look forward to another event because I'm definitely going to sign up for another event because this was definitely an experience never to forget which I'd like to enjoy also more on and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks!